Hello. Today we're talking about lesson 6.7, Relate Multiplication and Division. The essential question that you should be able to answer at the end of our lesson today is, how can you use multiplication to divide? And so we're on page 245 of the third grade textbook. And so let's go ahead and look at the Unlock the Problem. Pam went to the fair. She won on the same ride six times and used the same number of tickets each time. She used 18 tickets. How many tickets did she use each time she went on the ride? Well, she went on the ride six times and she had 18 total tickets. So how many tickets did she use each time she went on the ride? Okay, so in the blue box, it just asks us, what do you need to find? And remember that that's just the question of our math problem. Circle the numbers you need to use. So six times she rode the ride, and she used a total of 18 tickets. So one way we can solve that is to use bar models, like we did in our previous lessons. So you can use bar models to understand how multiplication and division are related. Complete the bar model to show 18 tickets divided into six equal groups. Well. If we're not sure about this, we can list 18 counters. The 18 counters, and we're going to put them into six equal groups. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's share each. One of the counters until we can can't share any more. So that's right now we have 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it looks like we have three in each group. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. So she used three tickets each time she went on a ride. But what if the problem said Pam went on the ride six times and used three tickets each time? So our bar, mo bar model would look the same. We would have six sections. And it said that she's using three tickets each time for a total of 18. So six times three is 18. So how do these two relate problems relate to each other? Well, multiplication and division are opposite operations or inverse operations. You can think about multiplication to solve a division problem. So when we were looking at this earlier, we said 18 divided by 6. Well, that's the same as saying 6 times something is 18. Well, 6 times 3 is 18, so 18 divided by 6 is 3. So another way we could have solved this is to use an array, like we've learned about. And so we had 18 counters, and we have three equal rows. So All right, so if we have three, we keep adding one to each row until we use all 18. And we notice that there are two, four, six counters in each row. So 18 divided by three is six. And the same array can be used to find the total number if you know there are three rows with six counters in each row, right? Three rows, six counters in each row. That's the same thing as saying three times six. I right, use the array to complete the equation. Six total divide by two. How many do we have in each row? Three. So two by three. Two times three is six. Number two. So we have three rows of what? Two, four, five. Three rows of five is 15. That's the same as saying 3 times 5. 
And if 3 times 5 is 15, then 15, the total number of counters, divide by 3 rows, we'd have 5 in each row. 2 rows of what equals 12? 2, 4, 6. 2 times 6 is 12. If 2 times 6 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 3 rows of what is 21? 2, 4, 6, 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. All right, complete the equations. 5 times what is 40? 40 divided by 5 is what? <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we have 5 rows of 2, 4, 6, 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 6 times what is 18? 6, 12, 18. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. Number 7. 5 rows of what is 30? 6. 5 rows of 6 is 30. So 5 times 6 is 30. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. 4 rows of 5 is 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. 4 rows of what is 28? 2, 4, 6, 7. 4 rows of 7 is 28, which is the same as saying 4 times 7 is 28. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. So 7 times what is 21? Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, three. Seven rows of three is twenty-one. So twenty-one divided by seven is three. Eight times what is sixteen? Eight times two is sixteen. So sixteen divided by two is eight. Four times what is thirty-two? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two. So I have four rows of two, four, six, eight. So four times eight is thirty-two, and thirty-two divided by four is eight. Six times one is twenty-four. Six. 12, 18, 24, 6 rows of 4. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4. Okay, so the left hand side of the equal sign needs to equal the right hand side. 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 equals 27 divided by what? Well, we can skip count 9s, right? Because this is the same thing as saying 9 times what equals 27. 9, 18, 27. So 9 times 23 divided by 3 equals 9. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So what times 2 equals 8? 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 9 equals some number divided by 4. 9 equals some number divided by 4. Well, that's the same thing as saying 9 times 4. So if we had 9 rows, 9, and our total, if I divide by 4, it's saying I'm going to get 9. So let's put 4 in each row. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, 24, 28, 32, 36. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. Number 17. 5 equals some number divided by 7. Well, that's the same as saying 5 times 7 equals something. So 7 sets of 5 is 35. 42 divided by 7 is 6, because 6 times 7 is 42. So what number times 2 is 6? 2, 4, 6, 3. Nineteen. Thirty divided by something equals 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So 30... Divide by something equals 6. So if we had 6 rows, we have to count rows of 6 until we get to 30. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So 30 divided by 6 is the same as saying 6 times what is 30? 30 divided by 5 is 6. Justin and Ivan went to the fair when all the rides were $2 each. Each boy went on the same number of rides and spent $10. All right, so 2 times something equals 10. They spent $10 on the rides, okay? And each ride costs $2. So we could also say $10 divided by 2 equals how many rides? Well, okay, so 2 4, 6, 8, 10, 5, 2 rows of 5. Five rights. And 21. For 21 and 22, use the table. So the table is information about the Ventura County Fair, and it's talking about the price of admission. So adults cost $6 to for their ticket and students cost three dollars if you're a child of five or less you get in for free so mr jerome paid 24 dollars for some students to get into the fair how many students did mr jerome pay for he paid 24 dollars for some students so he spent 24 dollars divide by three dollars a student equals how many students? Well, we have three that represent the three. Well, actually, we can list 24. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we have $24. Now we're going to circle groups of three because that's how much it costs to get in for one student. Okay, 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight students were paid for by Mr. Jerome. Garrett is eight years old. He and his family are going to the county fair. What is the price of admission for Garrett, his two parents, and baby sister? So Garrett, eight years old, two parents, adults, and baby sister is free. So two parents times six is $12. Garrett is $3. So $15. 23. There are 20 seats on the Wildcat ride. The number of seats in each car is the same. If there are five cars on the ride, how many seats are in each car? Complete the bar model to show the problem. Then answer the question. 20 seats, five cars on a row, right? One, two, three, four, five. So five times what? Is 20. Five, 10, 15, 20, four, right? So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Four seats in each car. 24. How many days are there in two weeks? Write and solve a related word problem to represent the inverse operation. Well, okay, so. 2 times 7 equals 14. How many how many weeks are in 14 days. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. Okay. So remember, inverse means opposite. So in this first one, we would multiply 2 times 7 to get 14 days. So the opposite would be, well, okay, so if I have a total of 14 days, how many weeks is that? And 25. There are 35 prizes in five equal rows. How many prizes are in each row? Complete each equation to represent the problem. 5 times what is 35? 5 equal rows. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 5 rows of 7. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So there are 7 prizes in each row. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Our next lesson will be writing related facts for lesson 6.8. But until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.